today I have some awesome news and it's because Free Peak just released Spaces, which is a collaborative canvas, an infinite, like really infinite canvas where you can create with all of the Free Peak AI suite generative tools, but it's more of a visual, like imagine that you have like a mood board all over like your screen and you can create more visually. You can stay in a flow state. <laughs> while creating your short films or commercial or whichever project you're working on. So I am very excited. I'm going to show you how to get started and just the basics about it. So we are here at the landing page of Spaces and you are going to see that they already have like three different pre-made spaces for you to practice. But if you already done those and you want to create your own, or you just want to go like ahead and really get started with it you can just go ahead and click here in new space so this is gonna create a new blank canvas for us and here as you can see you have different ways that you can get started for example if i want to i can get started with the assistant and basically tell tell it my idea so you can just click on it and you will type as if you were on ChatGPT or on the free peak ai assistant um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click run and what I wanted to show you around while the assistant is thinking is how you can add notes so you have two options you can either do a right click and this will give you either image generator video generator assistant upscaler or text and since we already have what the assistant wrote for us I'm just gonna go ahead and click on image generator but if you want you can also select it from here at note and then basically you have the same menu as if you go with the right click i think right click is more like intuitive at least in my workflow so that's how i do it and here is our image node so where are all the models and what you can change about it you're going to find them all in here so as you can see these are the same image generation models that you have in the free pick ai suite and for this one i think i'm going to go with Citrine 4 and then you can also select the aspect ratio for example 916 and the number of generations which I will choose 4 and what happens here so how do you connect it it's honestly very intuitive as you can see here it says text and if I click here it also says text which is going to be my prompt what is the difference if I type it right into the box is that if I type it right right there, it won't have like all the redo polishing that the assistant gave to me. As you can see here, the prompt is extremely large, but it's also giving like deliver a shot list. So it's giving different ideas. It's I really do have to go through it first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a part of the prompt. And I can export the result and this will be a text only where I can actually edit, I believe. So yeah, but so I'm just gonna erase this. And I'm gonna go ahead and just connect the text to the prompt. And as I said, if you want, you can always just go ahead and directly type the prompt here, and that's another option. And then if we wanna run these two nodes, we're just gonna go ahead and click run. And as you can see, I'm getting four generations. And this is pretty exciting. And that's my cat. So now we just wait for it to finish. And I'm going to show you something else while this is going on. Is that you can go ahead and select all of these. And just group them into, into a color group. Just for organizational purposes. And as you can see, I have my photo shoot here very 90s yeah definitely 90s vibe so let's say i like this one over here so what i'm gonna do now it's gonna go to the right click again and hit image upscaler so i always recommend even if we have a c3 model which is a really good model to upscale your image before animating it in a video so we're just gonna go ahead and connect oh and connect the image icon with the other image icon so as you can see this is the export image icon and this is going to be our input so we're just going to connect it there 
And Precision is one of the best, best models for Magnific right now to upscale. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Photo and run it. So let's see how to add video. We're just going to go ahead and do right click again and then Video Generator. So our output from here will be our first frame. And then again, you can just click here and select the model that you want to use. So I know Minimax is one of the newest models right now. So I want to try that one out. So let's go ahead and wait for our result. And then we're going to connect these two nodes. While that is going on, we can also do an extract from another frame with our image generator. Connect this image to the reference. Then go ahead and click on Nano Banana. And we're going to do the prompt here, just so you see how you can also change where you put your prompt, either in the text box or inside your image node. I'm just going to go ahead and say close up of the boom box and cassettes. Oh, there you go. We have the close up. That's really nice. Then we can do another one that says, like right here, close up of the cars on the back. Oh, so now we don't have the girls, but I mean, it's a clean, clean canvas from the same set. So that's cool. Maybe we can use this one as a start frame and this one as an end frame because like they can enter the frame right here. This is going to be our first frame for a video. So we have already, oh, but the Minimax only has one. Okay, so let's do one that has two frames. Maybe sit down, so yeah. So I'm just going to use this one as start frame. Wait, I think I like clean more for people. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect this one to my last frame. So first frame and last frame. Okay. So what do we want to happen here? Gee. So what if I'm not really sure if my prompt is like good enough for the video? I can just go ahead and use the assistant and just tell it that I'm going to like use this for a video prompt. Uh, fix this prompt for a video generator. And then just go ahead and click enter. I mean, click run. And then I can just like connect it to connect the result here. Yeah, I think this one's good. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect my prompt. And I have already set the aspect ratio I want, the model, duration. So probably I'm just going to change it to 10 seconds just so we have enough time. And let's see what happens. Platforms over here. Those are really cool. <laughs> wow. Okay, blast to the past. And then you can always just like open the preview, watch it like full screen. I love all the cassettes and like. VHS on the floor. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please consider subscribing or leaving a like, a comment, or sharing with your friends. I really do appreciate it. All of the links of the tools that I use are in the description below. Some of the links are affiliate links, but it's the same cost for you. It just helps me out with a little commission of like 10% sometimes or 5%. So I really do appreciate it. And as always, it was really nice to share this with you. I hope it helped you in some way and have a beautiful and nice day. Bye.